All right, time now for a look at the day's business news. And Google has announced a major breakthrough in computer science, and it's already had a real impact. Joining us from the business desk is France 24's own Yuka Roye. Yuka, tell us more. Good morning, William. Uh, Google has declared it has achieved quantum supremacy. The internet giant said that its research team succeeded in using a quantum computer to solve within minutes a complex problem that would take today's most advanced supercomputers thousands of years to crack. And this spooked people investing in Bitcoin and other digital currencies, seeing it as a threat as the technology could be used to hack cryptocurrencies and many other applications. Nick Rashworth reports. One giant leap for Google from the computers we know to its quantum computer. The company's CEO says its researchers have achieved supremacy ahead of rivals Microsoft and IBM. They have demonstrated with the quantum computer that it can perform a computation in seconds what would take the world's fastest supercomputer years, thousands of years, to do that same calculation. IBM, which has its own quantum project, says Google's claim is exaggerated. The professor who first coined the term quantum supremacy says Google's breakthrough is a milestone, opening the door to new technology. The applications that we currently envision, which could have a really big potential impact, are improved ways of using computers to simulate chemistry and materials that might help us find new pharmaceuticals or new ways of capturing solar power. While quantum practicality is years away, there has been an immediate impact to Google's breakthrough. One application could be to hack the cryptocurrency Bitcoin, which is based on blockchain encryption, immune to cracking. Bitcoin took a hit on its price, which tumbled by around 7%. The quantum supremacy moment is being compared to the first rocket flight into space and to the Wrights brothers' first flights. The impact is difficult to predict, but it will be massive. Nick Rushworth reporting on Google's quantum supremacy there. In Japan, former Nissan and Renault chief Carlos Ghosn is determined to fight tooth and nail as he awaits his trial. His lawyers have asked a Tokyo, Tokyo court to drop financial misconduct charges against him, accusing prosecutors of misconduct instead. They filed a document alleging that Tokyo prosecutors used inappropriate means to obtain evidence related to Ghosn's case, including colluding with government officials and Nissan executives in a bid to oust him to block a potential merger with Renault. They also denounced the prosecution for their leaks to the media in order to tarnish Ghosn's image and sway public opinion in their favour. The trial is not expected to begin until next spring. Meanwhile, Japan's factory output shrank at its fastest pace in more than three years in October, according to new data. The Jibun Bank Flash PME, or Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, is at 48.5 for the month so far, down 0.4 points from September. Any figure below 50 means a contraction. A global slowdown, a rise in sales tax and strong typhoons all had an impact. Let's check in on the day's trading action now. Major European bourses were all in the green at the open, with London's FTSE 100 just above the flatline. Paris's Cat Garant and Frankfurt up about a half a percentage point uh, at nine o'clock. Investors are also keeping an eye on a final policy meeting under Mario Draghi at the European Central Bank, scheduled for later today. Asian shares mostly rose this Thursday following modest gains on Wall Street. Japan's Nikkei uh, finished up just over half a percent after hitting a one-year high earlier in the day. Finally, Tesla may have finally turned a corner after a decade of mostly making losses. Shares in the electric car company soared 21% on Wednesday after the firm surprised the investors with its quarterly results. Tesla posted a profit of $143 million in a three-month period. The company also says its so-called Gigafactory in Shanghai is now operational on a trial basis. The start had not been expected until the end of the year. Chief Executive Elon Musk promised to roll out a cheaper SUV and new self-driving technology next year. And that's all from the business desk for now. Thank you very much, Yuko. Yuko Roya with a look at the business.